welcome to my tutorial on how to make your gun shine on any video game or anything. Now this can be used for lots of things like for montages and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna start doing the basic editing now. Uh, follow along if you want, I'm not going to be talking for the next few bits, so try and pay attention. Um, hello again. Now this is the complicated part where you have to sort of um, well you can do this thing on Sony Vegas where you can hold the control button and you can check very the length of clips and so I'm just gonna do that here just show you Then when I play this back, see it comes slow and then normal speed right at the end. I kind of cropped this at the wrong time, but that don't matter because that's not the focus of what we're doing. <coughs> Start 360. Now, you get when you have like a clip like this with wiggly nine in the back, this is going slow. So, you're just gonna go on video effects, and you're gonna go on f lens flare. Now, I like to use the 35mm lens, it's still very big, but yeah, it's uh, not that big. So, just gonna take this size down take the intensity down a bit. I'm just gonna put this where the gun starts there. I think I'll take that bit down more. Then I'm gonna get to this point here. And by this point your gun has moved so you're gonna move move it to there and then maybe put the intensity up a bit. And just keep doing this so on and so on till you have a finished um, copy of what you're doing. So we just click here, move it to where it's gone. They boost it in a tiny bit. Let's make it a bit bigger, so make. Then when you're going towards the edge, when you're about to like gone down the whole gun. You start moving towards the left a little bit then making it die down. So then it looks like oh oh no. That looks like it's coming from going away and then just move that to 
So I had a gun. Till when you get to this point when there's nothing left. Then hopefully when this is done, it should look like this. Well, it was a bit dodgy, but you get the point. And you can use this for all kinds of effects. Um, and in fact, I've got a clip for you now, which I've done earlier using the ACR.